This is the Unit 7 review. The suitability of a country like Korea for a business model like Coupang uh, has not escaped the attention of some uh, competitors. Uh, Amazon have recently teamed up with 11 Street uh, in order to take a piece of the action in the Korean market. Uh, not only this, but Naver have teamed up with eMart uh, parent company Shinsuke. Uh, to try and uh, maneuver into the market themselves. In response to this, Bom Kim simply laughed and said, hey, it's a big market. Piece of the action. Piece of the action. Now, Coupang have been in the news for other reasons recently as well. A number of their drivers have sadly keeled over and died uh, as a result of exhaustion. The company has apologized and added automated processing systems to their workflow and hired more employees, but many critics say, uh, why did it take people dying for, for the company to make these adjustments? Mm -hmm. Keel over. Keel over. And one more thing to note is that while Coupang has raised a lot of funds through its IPO, they've not actually turned a profit, even though they've been in business for about 10 years. The CEO says that um, revenues are increasing and net losses are decreasing, so he's optimistic about future prospects. And he aims to um, serve the shareholders and make contributions to society, which is sort of hard to find fault with. Find fault with something. Find fault with something. When you use Coupon, what do you usually buy? Usually I'm buying like household items, uh, things that are more convenient to buy online than in the store. Right. Toilet paper, tissues, something like that. Uh, it's the same for me. Uh, when I'm not buying household items, I do buy things like groceries. You can get great deals on things like cereal mm. and that sort of thing. Meats, uh, vegetables, and uh, the rocket delivery service yeah. is really convenient. Uh, now, what do you think should be done to improve working conditions for delivery drivers? I'm not sure. Um, they just have to make some regulations for their employees. Mm -hmm. um, the long, uh, long hours that lead to kind of overwork and exhaustion have to be reduced. Um, I know that there are some people who don't like these delivery, these companies like Amazon or Coupon because the workers have to deliver overnight mm -hmm. or, or work kind of 24 hours a day. Um, but I think that there are people who also want to have jobs and they yes. don't mind doing those jobs, working night shifts. But regulations need to be in place to keep them safe. And I also think that um, really just exposure to the public, mm -hmm. like, like letting the public know that this is going on, mm -hmm. uh, is the first step in, uh, in uh, uh, forcing a company's hand right, right. in trying to deal with this situation. It's one thing to say, well, we should do this regulation or that regulation. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything, you should make the company aware, or excuse me, make the public aware mm -hmm. that this is what this is the price of your convenience. Yeah, right. Thank you very much, everybody. That was Unit 7, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you.